Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at finding factor pairs, which is a lesson uh, in your math journal, page 39, for uh, unit 2, lesson 3. It says, write equations to help you find all the factor pairs of each number below. Use dot arrays if needed. So the basic premise of this activity is this. Uh, a product is the combination of two factors being multiplied together. And so if you look at any given number as a possible product, the question then becomes, how many different ways can you multiply two numbers together to get that product? So let's examine the number 20, first of all. So with any number, uh, there is always going to be, at the very least, one pair of numbers you can multiply together. And that is the number in question times 1. 20 times 1 gives you 20. Okay? Another combination uh, can be derived by the fact that 20 is an even number, and the definition of an even number is that it can be divided into 2, so some number times 2 gives us 20, and that number is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. And of course, since 20 ends in a 0, that means it's divisible by 5. So how many groups of 5 would it take to get to 20? Well, if you skip count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, you hit upon 20 with the fourth number, or the fourth uh, multiple of 5. So 5 times 4 also gives me 20. So what I have right now is three sets of numbers, 20 times 1, 2 times 10, and 5 times 4. Now, if 20 times 1 gives me 20, then the opposite, when I reverse the number order, 1 times 20 also gives me 20. I can switch the order of the factors, and I will still receive the same answer, the same product. So 10 times 2 gives me 20, as does 4 times 5. So when I examine all these factor pairs, I start to notice that I'm repeating some numbers. So when I go to uh, list the total possible combinations, I only have to list each number once. So I'm not going to write 1 and 20 as a factor pair and then turn around and say 20 and 1 is a factor pair. They're both the same, okay? So 1 and 20, 2 and 10... 4, and 5. And that's how I came up with those factor pairs. Now, as you go through this activity, some numbers in the left-hand column, your possible products, are going to generate more factor pairs than others. Some numbers only have one pair of factors uh, and those would be considered prime numbers. That means that there's no combination of numbers other than multiplying that number by 1 that will give you the product of the original number. One of those prime number examples is 13. 13 is uh, prime because the only two numbers you can multiply together to get to 13 is that number times 1. 1 times 13 or 13 times 1. And you might be thinking to yourself, how is that possible? Well, first of all, 13 is an odd number. That means any uh, combination with a 2 in it is probably not going to be a factor because you can only multiply two odd numbers together to get an odd answer. Okay? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on is out. This number doesn't end in a 5 or a 0, so that means 5 can't be a factor. Uh, so let's think about our 3s. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Uh, that's 15 is too big. 12 is too small. Uh, 7 times 2 is going to give me 14, so 7 can't be one of the factors. Uh, so we find that this number, 13, only really has one factor pair itself and the number 1. 
So when you're navigating through this activity and thinking about what are all the different combinations, you've got a couple of uh, tools at your disposal, one of which is your SRB. The second is the inside uh, back cover of your math journal, which contains a multiplication and division uh, fact chart. Uh, the easiest way for you to determine how many factor pairs there are is just to look at how many different times that number pops up on a multiplication and division table. So if you wanted to know um, what is uh, the total number of factor pairs that a number like 27 can generate, you would have to look at the table, the multiplication and division uh, facts table, uh, to help you find that answer. This is how we go about finding factor pairs. If you have any questions about this assignment, please reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.